What's up, dudes and dudes? Hitting your internet. My name's Seth, and we are back again for some more. What is it? Trove Laser Shoot Show. PS4 version of Trove. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic, wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. Ignore that guy hidden up there. Who else is hiding in this world? There are not really that many. Granted, I'm recording this at like 12 at night, so you'll have to excuse what's happening. Why are there. Ooh, what are all of these? <laughs> okay, so they continued the tradition of all of the- oh, wait, where's my son? Where's my son? <laughs> so, I- originally, uh, I ended up putting a bear down here or something like that. What- what trophy is that? The King Frog and it's a goldfish trophy? That, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that trophy. That might be extremely rare. Um, because I think that's an ancient fish? But, like, a gold trophy of one of them? I don't know. I could be wrong about that. In any case, uh, what I ended up doing originally, maybe it, maybe it was one of the other officers put it down, but then I ended up putting down... Uh, I think Lilith ended up having a bear or something like that, and then I put another one down and put that it was, like, my son Sam or something. I guess he's dead, because it seems like they converted the names over to a bunch of our stuff, right? Um, but, I do want to say, folks, if you haven't already checked out the Xbox episode, you know, because I know some of you freaks only tune into one of the Trove series, that is the PS4 in this case, but, yes, the, the Megalithic update is coming out in June. Uh, there's no actual release date for it, and come to think of it, Everybody kept saying, and and I, you know, that my fault for not actually looking. Everybody kept saying, oh, June 10th is when the update's probably coming out on the Megalithic update over and over and over again. And it always felt fishy to me. And then I finally realized, wait a minute. The updates always come out on a Tuesday. And the 10th is not a Tuesday, right? Let me, let me double check the Google. No, it would actually be... The, the Megalithic update is probably going to come out on the 6th or the 13th of June. That's what I'm expecting. Because... Hey, who are you? I wasn't looking at my screen! Leave me alone! Because those are Tuesdays, and the console updates, I'm pretty sure, like, the, the game has always followed the tradition of having the updates on Tuesday. Which, hashtag confirmed as well. Um... Devs didn't really end up telling us, uh, those, those of us on the PC version anyways, that as they were preparing for this whole console merge thing and swapping everything over, the, 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 the updates, um, yeah, the, the, the updates are, uh, uh, happening once a month for the PC, it seems, as well, outside of, like, little hot fixes and stuff. Uh, also, most of all, today is just gonna be the same old stuff, really. Like, I don't want it to sound like an excuse or anything that I just keep saying this, but it's true where I... You know, even though I'm still gonna be keeping the Trove videos uh, out, like, every day now, for, at least for a little while, for sure. E even right now, you know, I should actually be editing and then getting to bed, but I want to get this Trove video out to all of you today, right? I, I've been, I've been, um, more under the weather than I think that I have been, because even as far as recording and stuff, like, even right now, I can kind of feel it, like, where... My, my, my throat's kind of sealing up, and it's like, it kind of hurts to talk a little bit. Um, but don't, don't worry about that, though. Like, I, of course, I, I'm, I guess I'm just trying to say, like, if, if there was ever a point where it was like, oh, I'm, I'm sick, I shan't be recording, then, of course, I just wouldn't record, and I would make, like, a video afterwards talking about that. Uh, but, yeah, I wanted to let you PS4 fans know about the um, Megalithic update, uh, as well as a lot of people have actually been asking, and, yes, I do want to say, that when that update ends up coming out, I'll probably dedicate a little bit more of my time towards the console version because I looked at my calendar today as well, not just two seconds ago, but just I, I look at it every day to check my schedule for recording and uploading and everything, right? And I noticed that it's almost been like a week since we had a PS4 episode, despite the fact that I keep saying I'm going to have like 
uh, the Trove series coming out every day. Now, that that's kind of, you know, I, I guess, sorry, I, I can't really promise that. I'm, you know, I know most of you don't really mind because otherwise, uh, for last week, we ended up having that Trope of Wonder video. Uh, also, I've just been uh, trying to build a PvP arena on the PC, which, of course, that's kept me busy. I still haven't actually finished that. Uh, and then on the console, when that Megalithic update comes out, man, I cannot wait to get my hands on the Dino Tamer. Uh, but then also, there's been lots and lots of secret crazy stuff going on as far as the updates after that. I'm sure most of you probably probably saw it, but otherwise I do have a link in the description of my video talking about the subclasses, or at least what the devs have kind of let us know about. Um, in short, all they really did was show a screenshot of the Dracolite using the Ice Sage's number one barrier ability, which, come to think of it, is pretty useless on that character because doesn't that increase his uh, uh, attack speed? That's like one of the passives of it, right? Which doesn't really help with the... Uh, Draco. Uh, outside of the fact, I had somebody actually tell me, I think that was during my latest live stream, where they were saying that the uh, Draco might actually be affected by attack speed only because uh, throwing the bombs, is that actually uh, affected by attack speed? I haven't actually tested that out just yet. So if somebody out there mains the Draco, let me know. Does having more attack speed on the Draco actually determine how often and quickly you can throw down your number one bomb ability? I don't think that it does, uh, as far as my memory serves, but I could be wrong about that. Also, you have to excuse all the weird noises and stuff. The heat is coming on because... While it's been extremely hot during the day, which is wonderful over here in Canada, uh, it, it gets really, really cold at night, and the heater's been making all these weird ticks and pops and stuff, and I mean, unfortunately, I can't turn it off and wait for five years for the heater to turn off, let the house get cold, while, like, just so that I can end up recording, right? So, until, like... A couple years down the line when I'm actually like in a proper recording booth or studio or something, uh, I only ask, th uh, thank you, I, I ask that you bear with it, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, another thing too that I was hoping to end up doing, l let me actually double check here. Not, not in my claims, even though I got a, okay, I don't even know where those came from. Where, where is my store? Did I already... Where's my money's on the store? There we go. Okay, so I do still have a whole bunch of credits. Good. Because now that I'm back in Uggles Squid, I most likely, uh, when when I get the chance or whenever I do the next uh, PS4 live stream, I, I'm probably going to end up actually doing like a big pinata party. Be, even though it's not really, you know... It doesn't really equal to a very good value as far as the credits are concerned. But also, a couple things that I just want to say today, folks, um, on top of all that, is just for those of you that aren't exactly sure what's going to happen with the Megalithic update and what exactly it entails for the console version, pretty much every Patch Notes video that I have on the PC up to now, all of those updates are going to be coming onto the console. So, uh, most notably is going to be craftable classes, uh, the Dino Tamer, of course, uh, the Chaos Crafter table, which is going to allow you to craft all previous uh, Chaos Chest items, excluding a few, like the Sky Seeker Wings and the Tentacle Ally and stuff like that, and the Chaos Hound and a bunch of other things. Um, but that, that in itself is going to be a very, very big deal. But also, Chaos Chests are going to become untradeable. There, sorry about that, folks. Had a little technical hiccup there. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was trying to tell you the things that you can do to prepare for the Megalithic update. Because as Chaos Chests become untradeable, obviously, they're going to end up slowly increasing in value uh, with the ones that do remain tradable. Because any Chaos Chests that you have in your inventory right now, or that you even purchase right now, are going to remain tradable. And, more importantly than that, any of the drops and mounts and stuff like that, all of those are going to remain tradable as well. But after the update ends up hitting, 
any chaos chest purchased from the store or even found randomly in the world because chaos chests can be found as random drops and so can gold chaos chests very very rarely though um but those ones will be untradeable and all of the mounts will be untradeable as well so those of you that use pay to win to end up getting your flux up you might want to do a little bit of investing right <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, in any case, folks, I just realized that we are out of time. Sorry to say I, I kind of got to rush this video out because I got to edit it and a bunch of other videos because I've been getting a little bit behind on my work just because I've been busy trying to nurse myself back to health with this sickness stuff, right? But in any case, thank you so much for watching. We'll give away another five streamer dream boxes as per usual. Uh, in order to actually qualify for winning them, all that I ask is you hit that like button. And I would also appreciate if you hit that like button just to support me in general and then just leave a comment in the comment section down below so that i can let you know hey you've won and how you end up actually getting your prize thanks for watching everybody very much appreciate it sign on and stay epic